Hi everyone, it's Margaret here with 60 and Me, and this is an exclusive video for our 60 and Me supporters. Well, I am at the ship, I'm at the Celestial Olympia, just about to board. It's a beautiful sunny day. The wind is still blowing a bit, but it's gonna be a lovely cruise. Um, I'm just taking some pictures outside before I go in and find my room, and I'll show you around there. Um, I just hope that you enjoy this uh, trip with me. I'm going to take lots of pictures and uh, piece them together in a short video. And, uh, you know, I just hope that you know that I'm thinking about you all along the way here and so grateful for the support you give me. Um, it's going to be a great trip and uh, looking forward to sharing it with you. Hi everyone, well I'm on board the Celestial Olympia. I've checked in, I'm waiting for the room to be available so I can show you around there. But it's a beautiful day. The ship is very nice, it's very uh, sparkling and it's full of turquoise, which is my favorite color. I love it. So I'm gonna share with you the ship uh, when I, you know, things are settled down a little bit, but uh, just wanted to let you know that I'm here on board. And also to tell you that this is not a sponsored uh, cruise in any way at all. I'm paying for this myself and I'm so happy to be able to share it with you. So I'll show you my room next. My room I'm gonna go in and see what it's like I've never been on celestial before so we'll see what it's like hi everybody well I have an inside room so it's a very basic little space I'm going to try to do a video although it's hardly uh, possible to walk around <laughs> but um, it's okay it's great I actually don't mind an inside room when I'm cruising because I spend most of my time outside uh, on shore and just enjoying um, you know the, the ship but uh, here I am I've actually got two beds here and uh, it's two twin beds and then a very tiny little uh, bathroom uh, there's plenty of storage and so I'm just gonna let the camera go and show you what I see. Okay, so we have a desk, well equipped phone, and then two twin beds. Believe it or not, this room is actually designed for um, four people because there's pull down bunk beds if you needed them. No porthole, just uh, little lights, which are great. I'm gonna turn around here and let you see the desk again. This is actually really nice, it's very, you know, compact, the space is used well. There's a TV, and let's see in the bathroom. It's nice and clean and sparkly. There we go. Actually, I like it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a great home for the next few days. So there we go, there's the shower. Yeah, it's nice. And if I turn around slowly again, there you go. I'll let you see what's in the um, cupboards. There's some storage space here. I can just open up. Yeah, tons of space. It's really good. Hangers, hangers. <laughs> no, it's great. It's everyone. Well, I am at Mykonos now. It's amazing. The sun is just setting and we're walking through the old town on a walking tour of Mykonos. It's a really beautiful place. The wind is incredible, but uh, I just wanted to stop and let you know where we were and uh, take some pictures to share with you. where there's um, the very famous Mykonos windmills and there are so many people here it's just so crowded it's hard to get a great picture but I wanted just to share this moment with you the sun is setting it's absolutely beautiful and uh, just wish you all could be here with me but uh, here's the uh, windmills and the sunset
Hi everybody, good morning. Well, I've arrived at Kusadasi, which is in Turkey. We're here for about four hours. Uh, it's a very historical place and we're going to go on a tour of the uh, archaeological sites and uh, then we're heading off uh, to, I think it's Patmos next, but it's been a really lovely cruise. I'm actually quite impressed with this boat. It's, um, it's a large ship, 1,600 people, um, but it feels very spacious and uh, we had some really good fun yesterday. We were doing Greek uh, dancing and uh, also Latin dance, which was so fun and people are in great spirits it's a nice group and uh, the food's good it's very um, as plain it's not you know, really extravagant but it's actually lovely and healthy and good and I'm having a good time so far it's been really lovely we did Mykonos last night and I, I posted some pictures there of Mykonos it was incredibly crowded it was so so busy and um, but it was nice we had a guide who took us sort of in the maze of the city and uh, well the town and uh, we discovered some beautiful spots it's very commercialized it's extremely popular but uh, we she took us to places that most tourists don't get to and there's still people living right in the center of Mykonos in these tiny little alleyways uh, beautiful colors and um, you can imagine the life there when it's off season <laughs> but anyway we're off to Kusadasi today and I'll leave you some pictures of that and uh, thanks for being with me on the journey. One. Well, we've arrived at Ephesus, which is an archaeological site in Turkey. I'm going to learn all about it in a minute, but I wanted to share this uh, moment with you. It's just it's so exciting to be here. Hi everyone. Well, I've arrived at the island of Patmos and we've come over on a tender from the ship because it was uh, there's no port here. We just came in on a small ship. And I've been showing you up until now kind of the more architectural parts of this trip and I'm going to share with you today just the actual being in a, a, an island and, and arriving and not knowing where you're going, what's going to happen. And uh, I'm just going to show you, I mean behind me there's the port and there's some boats arriving and lots of cafes and cool places to sit and relax. But I'm just going to wander around town. It's a small place, it's just a very small island and uh, leave you some impressions of Patmos. Hi everyone, it's morning, the sun is just rising and we're arriving in Rhodes. It's going to be a great day. Hi everyone, we're now on the island of Rhodes and we've traveled to a place called Lindos where there is a very famous archaeological site, a temple to Athena and it's a very high steep climb. I'm going to stay in the town um, and enjoy the beautiful um, uh, just atmosphere here. Uh, you know, I go to these different islands on these cruises and you jump from one place to the next and you only get a moment to really get uh, an impression and l this island of Rhodes has really struck me. It's such a beautiful 
beautiful place. It has over 300 uh, days of sunshine every year, and it's um, the temperature is very temperate and um, mild. And it's just one of those places. It's got such an interesting um, architecture and uh, geography. Now, Lindos, um, the town I'm spending some time wandering around, is like door heaven for me. Every time I've turned a corner in this little maze of, of streets, there is a beautiful door. And I'm just so enjoying that. I, you know me and my doors, but this one behind me is gorgeous. It's very old and the, the, the leaves and the trees are growing around it. It's just spectacular. So I hope that you enjoy this little tour of Lindos and then I'll be in the town of, the, 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 I forget the name of the town, the city or the uh, capital of Rhodes, but I'll be there this afternoon in the old town. And apparently it's incredibly uh, narrow, winding streets and um, just a beautiful day here in, in Greece. So thanks for joining me on the trip and hope that you enjoy this little, um, the doors of Lindos and the beautiful, um, amazing uh, simplicity and gorgeous uh, environment of Rhodes. Hi everyone, well I found the most amazing little coffee shop in Rhodes. It's in the old town and it's um, just a, a Ili coffee shop, but when you come upstairs to this little terrace, it's just fantastic. So I'm gonna end the day here in Rhodes because I could go on forever telling you about how beautiful it is and uh, carry on tomorrow when we get to Heraklion, which is in Crete. So thanks for being here with me on the journey. I hope that you're doing great wherever you are. Thanks for again for all your support. Good morning. This is the last day of our cruise. We just arrived in Heraklion, which is in Crete. It's a really large place, this large um, island, and you can see the urban kind of feel at the port. But we'll be here for a couple of hours this morning in Heraklion, and then we go straight on to Santorini, which is um, a place I'm really looking forward to. I was there, what, 35 years ago, and we'll see how it's changed. Hope you enjoy the pictures. Hi everyone. Well, we're just arriving at Santorini now. It is a spectacular island. I didn't realize it was quite this large. I was here about 40 years ago, but it, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember it, but uh, you can hardly see in the background, but I'll take some pictures of this most amazing vista. So uh, our next uh, pictures will be from Santorini. So excited to see this island again. We arrived in the small town of Ia and Santorini, and this is the place where everybody loves to get that very famous uh, sunset shot. There are people everywhere, it's super busy, but I just took a little step off of the main road to just uh, let you know where I am, and some of the pictures that are gonna follow are of this beautiful island of Santorini. It's a volcanic island, the beaches are black, but our sand is black, but it's just got an amazing spirit to it and we've got a fabulous guide she's telling us all about the history of the place and I'll share some of that with you but right now there's a crowd of people trying to get to the um, point where they can take a picture of the sunset and enjoy this amazing amazing place take care everybody Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with She Cruises. Um, I want to thank you so much for taking this journey with me on my celestial cruise. I am back in uh, Piraeus now and heading home today. But I wanted just to share with you that um, this has been an amazing trip. It was a, a very short four night experience, but we saw some lovely Greek islands. The cruise itself is a very affordable cruise, um, but quite large, 1600 people. So it got a little crowded at times, but it was actually very beautifully organized and I had a great time. So I will be writing up an 
article on this in a bit more detail telling you about the cruise itself but um, I encourage you to also look at my uh, day trip to Athens that I recorded when I was here uh, it seems like forever ago but um, and also just to thank you thank you for your support at 60 and me and she cruises sisters and uh, look forward to sharing more cruise adventures with you in the future take good care everybody bye for now